Hello friends. If you've seen my one hand swing training technique where we hold the wrong end of the club and train each hand individually, you'll uh, remember that it's because they actually act differently and we need to train them separately. And that uh, swinging a heavy end of the club with one hand is too much, so we hold the wrong end. Now there are some errors that one need remain mindful of uh, during this process, particularly with the right arm. Uh, the first one being that we tend to grip the head of the club, that's incorrect, and we don't want to go near the ground. So as you're pulling back, it's very easy, because it's just mechanically and powerfully more easy, is to lead with the elbow like you're starting a giant lawnmower and end up with the club pointing what they call across the line, where the shaft is looking over there. We're essentially training not just the hand and the elbow, but also particularly the shoulder. And so as we swing back and turn the shoulders, so that this shoulder is looking down at the imaginary ball. We should train the right shoulder to a, arrive at the top of the swing with the elbow perhaps away from us, but pointing down and with the shaft resting on what I describe as a shelf behind your neck, not pointing up at the sky in the corner of the room here in this fashion. And then when you pull down, don't hit the ground, but make a whoosh and hold the follow through and check that your eyes and shoulders are tilted now, one of the errors people make is just presuming that their job is to guide with the right hand. Very logical, but wrong. And you'll know because you end up in this follow through where I happen to uh, wear my wristwatch on my right wrist. I can't see the time and the palm of my right hand is looking at my face. Actually, the way good golfers would finish is more here where I can see the time and the palm of my hand is looking away from me and I can see the knuckles. Check for that because it is a variant that's quite common. Now, with regard to the left arm, the first thing is we bias, turn the arm and the hand over, and that raises the shoulder and tilts the body. And very importantly, keep the arm extended. It's very easy to bend at the elbow and not at the wrist. And uh, like with the right arm, it's possible for the elbow to tip under here and end up with the club pointing to the right across the line. So keep the arm extended, hinge the wrist, and you won't be able to go back quite as far, at least I can't. But the shaft you can see is generally heading toward being on a shelf. Those of you who are more agile probably will get it there. Then when you swing through, it's very important to keep the arm extended until you get through the imaginary ball, but then let it bend and wrap around you. If you keep it straight for too long, it's tough on your shoulder. So let it wrap around you. And once again, check that the eyes and the shoulders are tilted. And then maybe raise one eyebrow for the cameras. Very nice.